Hi. I'm back. <laughs> you guys will probably not be seeing this until tomorrow because it's late. And I just wanted to pop in and say hi real quick. I just wanted to deliver a little quick message. Um, back to the motivational stuff. You know, I mean, I, I'm, I try to keep things light and I just wanted to say something really quick. Uh, I got to thinking about how uh, there's a lot of people out there that are, a lot of people out there that are, you know, having issues with family members and friends and, you know, and acquaintances and whatever you want to call them. Um, in terms of, you know, self-doubt and how like you're never ever good enough for someone or people in general and you kind of criticize yourself way too much and, you know, like you go into a grocery store and, you know, you're not wearing the right clothes. You're not, your hair isn't the right color or, you know, you don't look great, you know, whatever. But this is what I want to send you guys off with is it doesn't matter. It simply does not matter what you look like, how you act, you know, I mean, as long as you're a decent human being, that's all, that's all that truly matters. I mean, there are people out there that, you know, they want to get in your business. They want to know every single minute of your life. And to be honest with you, it's okay. It's okay for you to say no, <laughs> You know, it's okay for you to say, I don't want to tell you what's going on in my life and it should, and it shouldn't bother them. And if it does bother them, then in my opinion, it's their problem, not yours. So I also wanted to say that a lot of people out there too think that they're not good enough for like someone or certain someone a person society the lighting's really bad in here but um i want i want to before i lose my uh, train of thought there there has been plenty of times where i've actually like felt like that you know and that's the self-doubt part you know like you're just never ever good enough you know you just you try so hard to like work at something and you feel proud of it. And you're like, yay, I did it. And then someone comes along and they tell you, you know, no, you, that, I don't like that. It, you didn't do good. And then it just kind of puts you down, you know? And what I want to deliver to you is you're going to run into that constantly. I see it with my kids. I see people putting him down, putting mainly Ryan, you know, mainly, mainly my son. Cause Emma, she's a rock. She's fine. But you know, I see, I see, I see people putting other people down and I kind of want to like go up to them and, be, and pat them on the back and say, you know what, at least you vocalized it. You know, I mean, that's a big step, you know, I'm, this is a big step for me. So there's no reason to feel bad to express your opinion. There's no reason to feel bad to be emotional. There's no reason to feel bad to, you know, bitch and moan and cry and scream and yell and get it out. And there's real, and there's also on the other side, there's no reason for the other person that is complaining and judging you to do that as well. So I want to send you off with this again. Um, stay strong and keep doing what you're doing. And if someone doesn't like it, then they can go to hell. <laughs> I hope you guys had a fabulous Sunday night. Um, pretty sure all you guys are 
your tummies are all filled with filet mignon and lobsters and got roses on the counter. And, and then there's some of you that don't, which is totally fine, by the way. It's such an over-commercialized holiday. It's ridiculous. Um, that's my opinion. But uh, I really wish nothing but the best for everyone. And I'm going to be working on that with you guys and I uh I know I suck at this by the way <laughs> I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I I I'm trying really hard and I have so many like things that I want to talk about like my head's just about to explode so I'm I just wanted to like I said pop in say hi let you guys know that everything's fine and everything will be fine. And as long as you're living, you know, live and, you know, don't take things for granted. That's basically is what I'm trying to say. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I have a little bit of a surprise for you. Um, it's mostly for me. <laughs> But I would like to show it off. You know, I'm going to be proud of it. I'm going to be happy about it. I am happy about it. I'm excited to get it done. And I'm pretty sure my dad won't be, though. Because <laughs> you know how dads are with their daughters. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow and show it off. All right, you guys have a wonderful night, wonderful morning, and I will talk to you later. Bye.